Hey guys, this is Rosa Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to share with you a new project. This is my Cozy Moments mini album and it is a chunky one. So let's take a look. So hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. As you can probably hear, I have lost my voice, um, but I wanted to just quickly make this video and share with you this book that I just finished and I am using the Cozy Moments collection. This is a collection by Chao Bella and it is one of my class kits. So you can find the kits on my website and I will be posting the video class on the option um, also so i will have all the links to the classes and how to purchase the kit on the description box below and so yeah so let's take a look at this book like i said this is a chunky book um, it is eight by seven and it has a four inch spine three very chunky signatures and i am using a new um, hinge that i kind of wanted to try i've been playing with this idea and it makes the pages really flexible and also i reinforce the hinge to the spine and it allows for all the pages to lay it really flat as you can see here i created a window cover so i just did like a double layer of um, chipboard here to give it that window effect and i did use my sewing machine and went around a lot of the pages like this book <laughs> took me forever to finish just because i really really like stitching everything so most almost every page i did that for um we're using the prima flowers that come with the kit and then these are the prima um i think it's called moments to treasures or i don't remember exactly but these are like resin pieces that uh it's like a little package that comes with your kit and then also this chipboard piece comes with your kit as well and for the spine here i created like a double chipboard layer to give it that a uh, bit of texture and like wood uh, looking here on the side and then this is the back and so this book measures eight by seven and it has a four four inches spine i'm sorry i'm losing my voice um and it's quite a chunky book as you can see and i just love how this turned out so let's take a look inside and so we open this up and like i said i stitch and distressed a lot <laughs> on this book i just really like how it looks you can see the stitches going through um, all the layers here and so we're going to start on the inside cover this is a very simple page here just a large layout with a beautiful paper place for a picture and then place for pictures there as well and then this one closes up like that again with the stitches going all the way around and then here we have the first signature page so all the signature pages are quite uh, chunky and i'm doing a double hinge system um, to make the pages lay flat even though they're really really chunky and so over here we have a pocket this is like a gateful pocket and i have these pieces from the collection this is one like a little scrap piece and this is one of the cutter parts just so so pretty and this gatefold opens up like that and we have a double floating uh, feature here some floating photo mats and then on the back more of the beautiful design paper those two close up and then we're just gonna use that right there and then this opens up and a place for a picture on the back and then here this was just one full page but what i did is i um, stitch all around but i also only just glue this here around the sides to um, use this as a pocket as well and so with this kit you're going to get the 12 by 12 um, and the 6 by 6 collection so this is a piece of the 6 by 6 i think you probably ends here and i just went ahead and kind of layered this up to make it look like a full page and then some of the cut aparts 
there as well and whatever i didn't stitch i went ahead and ink and so yeah a lot of distressing on this book this opens down and then we have a dimensional pocket again a beautiful image absolutely love it and so this page has a little booklet and so we created these dimensional pockets on a couple of these pages that way we can take this out and kind of also be like a little brag book something that you can take with you and so here we have another one of the cut parts um, again I stitch everything did a bit of collage here is the back a little distressing and on the inside here I didn't cover anything with cardstock but this here opens up there's a double accordion fold and then these two open up there as well and so for this booklet i probably would just be adding picture and then using some of my scrap pieces or you can use the craft color cardstock but honestly i didn't want this to grow too much so it can still fit in this pocket here so that one goes right there and then we're going to close and close and that is so the first page and now here on the back and again the beautiful paper and the stitching this dressing absolutely love how this turned out <clears throat> a little bit of a collaging here and then this opens up and it opens and it opens and so here's a piece of scrap and what i did also to just kind of complement a bit here on the bottom is i added this little piece which is also left open so it can be a good um, like a little tax pad there as well so if you have another photo mat that you're going to put in here you can do that as well and um here two little spaces for pictures again stitch everything i just really love how that look and i decided to uh, add it to almost every page um over here again the beautiful image from the paper collection so pretty and so we have a little pull tab here on the top and this slides to the top like that and it opens up here and then this goes back in place and it also opens to the side and so you can see how I use my scraps by collaging the page here stitch all around this dress uh, this is another one of my uh, leftover pieces i just love how that looks so i just glue it in there and this opens up sorry i just like my voice comes and goes i have been kind of dealing with this cold um, and then here we have a image from i think this came from the cover actually and another booklet here which i absolutely love how this turned out and this opens up like that and like this and then here just a booklet a place for a lot of pictures there as well and this goes in the pocket and it closes up like that and then we move on to this next page here we have an image this little wool and over here this is spins down and then we open this gatefold and then this opens up like that here as well and then this opens down and again i use one of the six by six and since i had to like use another piece here to finish the page i decided to only glue it as a u to leave this open as a side pocket as an extra pocket and you can add a picture there as well or you can just glue it down uh, but we had a lot of cut parts on this set here as well so this is gonna close and close like that and then here on this page we have the beautiful beautiful bird is so pretty and then this pulls down here and we have one of those like sliding pages so i went ahead and used again my six by six and just complemented with a little bit here so they all open up and they're all the same size i forgot to put one here but um, they are all i mean they're all different sizes so the pages kind of grow and then here on the back we have these um, double kind of floating pockets these two open up like that and we have a place here for a picture also here on the sides but as you can see these panels are each pocket so that's one pocket this is the tag that i made for that or a photo mat you can put a photo on the back and then here is the other one it's just really pretty absolutely love the 
paper and then we can put that back and then close that up and then this one goes on this top pocket here and i added a bit of chipboard here to add some volume before gluing this down and then finally on the inside back cover we have the beautiful wolf he is just so cute this opens up a place for a picture there and uh, this one opens down and we have a platform page there as well place for a photo mat uh, you can also use this as a pocket and tuck something in there and then this close up here with a magnet and so that is the cozy moment so i hope you guys enjoy the walkthrough again i will have the link to my website on the description box below you can purchase the kits and you can also find the video class on the option i want to thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one Bye bye